In this one, we're constructing a comparison, comparison between the land area of Laos and the land area of Britain. And we have to be very careful on the GMAT when we're doing comparisons to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples, not apples to oranges. So answer choice A, a land area about the same as Great Britain. And that's an example of an incorrect comparison on the GMAT because we're comparing, we're comparing the nation, Great Britain, to the land area of Laos. So that just doesn't work. So B, land area about the same size as Great Britain. All right, that's a little wordy, but that works. We'll put a question mark there. C, land area that is about the same size as Great Britain. Well, that's, that's even wordier. And in fact, I'll just point out about C. We have this wordy phrase at the beginning that is about the same size as Great Britain's land area. All right, that's wordy. Then with a population of only 4 million people, that's also wordy. C is just an, a god-awful wordy monstrosity. It's the longest of all the answer choices. It's an abomination. Let's just get rid of it. So we move to D, comparable to the size of. Okay, that, that is plausible. E, comparable to that of Great Britain. That is precise. That is an absolutely precise comparison. So that is excellent. So we'll remember that. Now we'll look at some of the other parts of the sentence. In B, we have this, this indirect phrasing, but, there, but in Laos there is a population of, instead of Laos has a population of, there is a population of. That's wordy and indirect, so we'll get rid of that. And in D, what we have is comparable to the size of Great Britain, but only 4 million people in population and many. And what's wrong about D really is this very subtle use of the word and here. And is not really creating the contrast. So what we have is 4 million people, and then many of them are in these upper hills where they're inaccessible, we want to create a little bit of contrast there. And when we use the word and, we're not emphasizing that contrast enough. So the fact that this is a little problematic and the fact that comparable to the size of Great Britain is not quite as precise as just comparable to that of Great Britain, D is not quite right. That leaves us with E, with the perfect comparison, comparable to that of Great Britain, and then this lovely phrase, people, many of whom. Perfect. Notice another problem with A, incidentally, a classic GMAT mistake. It uses where to refer to a non-place. So that is another example of a, a very common mistake on incorrect sentence correction choices. The best answer by far here is answer choice E.